What's going on everybody? This is Jeff from Living in Arizona and today we've got a pretty exciting video coming to you. It's about the best places to live in Arizona. Depending on who you ask, that can vary. Now before we get into the video, if you are new here and you do enjoy videos about living in Arizona or looking for information about moving to Arizona, this might be a good channel for you to subscribe to and you can do that. You can also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. So let's go ahead and dive right in here and talk about the subject at hand, which is the best cities to live in Arizona or the best city to live in Arizona. Depending on who you ask, uh, it, it, it'll vary. I mean, if you like living on water, really the only place you can live on water uh, decently is, you know, Lake Havasu City, Bullhead City, and then you've got Yuma, which I wouldn't recommend any of those places if you, you know, if heat's an issue, those are some of the most hot places in all of America. I mean, it's close enough to Death Valley. It's close enough to uh, Imperial Valley. It's it's hot out there, okay? Now, uh, those places are cool, but let's go ahead and go towards the big cities. From Yuma, you would go south. You go to Nogales, not a big city. Then you go up and you're in Tucson. Now, Tucson's got some interesting communities that do rank among the top places in all of Arizona to live. You've got Oro Valley, Sorito, or Sorita, um, you, you know, and then if you go towards Marana. So there are some top places in uh, that area right there. You've got Catalina Foothills. It's another place in Tucson that people really like. Tucson is the baby brother to Phoenix. It does ha sit at the base of Mount Lemmon, which does have a ski resort and high country, and it does have some really high mountains out there. Whereas Phoenix has high mountains, but you're not going to be able to go skiing unless you get up towards Flagstaff or go down towards Mount Lemmon in Tucson. So if you really want to beat the heat, it's easier to beat the heat from Tucson than it is to beat the heat from Phoenix. Well, I guess you could go to Flagstaff, but it's going to take you two and a half hours or two hours, depending on how fast you drive. Now, uh, Arizona does have some high, or Phoenix does have some high desert places that are pretty nice. Fountain Hills, North Scottsdale, Pinnacle Peak. I've already talked about those places, and those are some of the be most premier places in all of Arizona to live. Scottsdale and Paradise Valley are right up there. Now, if you're looking for a place to raise a family and not break the bank, you might consider a place like Gilbert. Gilbert's a great place to raise a family. So is Chandler. Um, Phoenix itself, if you just talk about the city of Phoenix, not the Phoenix metro area, it is a little bit rough and tumble. The, probably the nicest area of Phoenix would probably be uh, Arcadia. And when I say rough and tumble, I mean it's it's just like any other big city. It's You're not going to get the, the relaxed lifestyle that you get out in Gilbert or in Chandler or even um, Scottsdale. So go out towards the suburbs if you're coming to the Phoenix metro area and you want peace. If you're, if you're looking to save money, Phoenix is a little bit cheaper and that's definitely the big city. But going outside of Phoenix, just like it is in LA, like you probably wouldn't want to live in Compton or central, central Los Angeles, just like you really don't want to live too close to central Phoenix. Uh, but if, if you go into some of these other communities like Litchfield Park, Queen Creek, Phoenix does have a lot of different varieties. Another place that just keeps coming up, depending on who you ask, people really like Peoria, even Litchfield Park, and I've mentioned this in a couple other videos, uh, Fountain Hills, but Oro Valley keeps coming up down in Tucson. Now, outside of those places, and I've said this before, but it never really gets the recognition that I think it fully deserves, you might want to check out um, in the north, a place like Prescott. Okay, I have no idea why they keep leaving Prescott off the list, but Prescott doesn't get mentioned, neither does Cottonwood, and that whole Verde Valley. You have Sedona. Like, if you're just trying to get into a, a Zen moment, you'll get that in Sedona. Now, why does Sedona not rank? I don't know why they don't rank it. I guess they're looking at quality of life, which includes education, things to do as for the families, parks and all that, parks and recreation. Because if we even go to a website that's got a pretty good information uh, resource for you, you can go on niche.com, okay? And I'll just tell you the, how their list looks, okay? You've got Catalina Foothills, number one, and that's in uh, Scott, uh, Tucson, okay? Number two, they have Chandler. Number three, they have Gilbert. And these places 
have A plus overall ratings, A, uh, grade A public schools, okay? So Ahwatukee Foothills is another place that I've mentioned a couple times that does have, you might want to check out Ahwatukee. If, 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 if um, you like to be close to Tempe, you might want to go to Ahwatukee. Tempe is where the college kids are, right? Mill Avenue, there's a lot to do down there, but it's, you know, you, you need to get your laundry done in a laundromat, you go down to Tempe, right? You won't find that in Scottsdale laundromats, okay? And then, um, yeah, if, you, if, if public schools are a big thing, then um, you're going to want to check out uh, Gilbert and stuff like that. Queen Creek, because it's a new city, up and coming, it's going to have a grade B uh, place. Another uh, location that I haven't mentioned very often, but was the master pl was a great master plan community in Arizona, I think it was the largest master plan community at the time. It's called Anthem. It's just north of Deer Valley, north Phoenix, up the I-17. You've kind of got to take the I-17 up a little bit, and there you are right there in Anthem on the right side of the road. It's an all right community. I mean, it's got some facilities and stuff, some pretty good schools, but a lot of people were really excited when they built Anthem, and I think they're trying to build Anthem Part 2 in Prescott. So 22,000 people, went for, it went from zero to 22,000 people. That's kind of the way they built that community. If being in a big city is your thing, I'll just give you some of the top cities that you can consider for that. Peoria, 158,000. Um, you've got 185,000 people in Paradise Valley. That's where a lot of the pro athletes live. I think Kurt Warner, Charles Barkley all had houses in Paradise Valley, also known as PV. If you hear someone calling it PV, that's what it is. 174,000 people live in Tempe. Now, all of these are really pretty connected, so um, don't be surprised if uh, you, you don't feel like you're leaving Phoenix. You're like, hey, wait, I think I'm still in Phoenix, but I guess I'm in Scottsdale? Oh, no, wait, I'm in Tempe now all of a sudden, right? Or I'm in Paradise Valley. You'd be like, I didn't even know I left Phoenix when I went to Paradise Valley. Because it's all connected, you know. Uh, Scottsdale has 234,000. So it is a larger city. And then um, you have Ahwatukee Foothills, 81,000. I really like Ahwatukee, to be honest with you. I like Gilbert, 226,000. Chandler, 242,000. Now, to some of you, you might be questioning why you're not hearing Mesa on this list. And Mesa just does not have a very good rap of a place to live. I don't know what it is about Mesa that attracted the crowd that it does or the vibe that it got or the, the what is it, the just the lack of desirability. It's a big city, right? It's one of the biggest cities in Arizona, but it's a, it's a suburb of Phoenix. But Mesa is just not a desirable place. I mean, it's an okay place to be. It's got... It's, it's definitely the second biggest city in the metro area of Phoenix, right? But it's just not sought after. And, you know, people make jokes around here saying that Mesa is kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> not where you want to be, okay? Let's just say that. I, I like Mesa. I have no problems with it. But I guess maybe it's the homeless population did kind of uh, build up there and some of the low-income housing also in uh, Mesa. That's just some information that may be valuable to some of you. Some of you are like, I don't worry about none of that. Um, but like I said, I mean, it is the second largest city. It's got 470,000 people. That's just under as big as Fresno. I mean, and Fresno is a big city. So, I mean, that's just, that's a, that's a suburb of Phoenix Four almost five, almost half a million people in a suburb is big. So Mesa is pretty big. Um, and if you just wanted to talk about some of the other places, you know, like I said, Tucson's got those places, Sorita, uh, Marana, you know, those are smaller suburbs. You're not going to see, like, Marana's a suburb of Tucson, 40,000 people, Sorita, uh, 27,000. So you're not seeing the same size uh, suburbs that you see in Phoenix, right? Catalina Foothills, 51,000. I mean, if you put all those together, they still don't even equal the population of Chandler or Gilbert. So Phoenix is where it's at when it comes to being in the big city. Tucson, it's the baby, baby brother. Flagstaff, I wouldn't even call it a, a baby brother to any of those. I mean, it's got six, like almost 70,000 people in Flagstaff. But if, if you like being out of it all, high elevation, kind of like a, a mini Denver with the college vibe and a telescope nearby, kind of close to a uh, snowball 
which is a ski resort in the Grand Canyon, I guess Flagstaff would serve a purpose for you. But if I had to pick, if I if you said, hey Jeff, would you take Flagstaff or Prescott? I would say Prescott, me personally. If you said, um, but in that area, you know, they're all connected, like Prescott, Flagstaff, Sedona, you're all within an hour of each other. You're not, it's it's not hard to get get around that whole area, you know? And um, even Phoenix, it's, cl it's easy to get to uh, all three of those places within a couple hours. If two hours, if driving two hours isn't a big thing for you, you'll be right up there. I didn't even mention Pes Payson yet. Payson's another great place that you might consider. Page, way in the north is Page. Some people like Page, you're talking more getting into the Utah um, climate, which is a subject for another day. And then, um, yeah, so you've got a lot to look forward to in Arizona as far as picking and choosing where you're going to want to go. But if you're looking for affordable housing, pretty close to the center of it all, you're probably going to zero in on Gilbert. If you don't, if you want the West Valley, check out Peoria, check out Surprise. But for the most part, that's it, Gilbert. I would say Gilbert is probably the best city in Arizona overall. If, if quality of life, being in the big city, low crime and all of that, you're probably gonna, I'm probably gonna give it to Gilbert. And Gilbert makes the list on many people's uh, uh, top fives quite frequently. So I, I figured I'd throw in my, my opinion on the top city in Phoenix. But you know, Peoria is coming up. Uh, Fountain Hills is just too expensive. I mean, I if I could live anywhere, I would live in Fountain Hills. But if I can afford to live there, right? That's a whole other story in itself. But with all things considered, schooling, center of it all, price, cost of living, which I'll make a video about cost of living here soon, so all this kind of makes more sense. Um, you might, I don't know. <laughs> If, if Gilbert's not your flavor, you might really like Ahwatukee Foothills. Ahwatukee Foothills is near Tempe. If, if that's kind of the direction you want to be is Ahwatukee near Tempe. It's kind of tucked away, but Ahwatukee Foothills could, could be added to your list. Other places that people uh, that are a little bit unique are like Cave Creek, Apache Junction. Listen to the names, right? I mean, Queen Creek used to be up there. Now Queen Creek's kind of a nice place, actually. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this video. I would say, yeah, I would probably live in Gilbert over even Paradise Valley. But if I could afford to live in the in the high dollar homes in Paradise Valley, I would rather live there than Gilbert. I'm talking about the the stuff, the homes that are nestled up there against Camelback Mountain, you know. On the other side of Camelback Mountain is Arcadia, which I mentioned in another video. So you guys can check out the other videos on the channel. You can subscribe to this channel. Check us out on Instagram. This is Living in Arizona. My name is Jeff. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And we'll see you guys on the next video.